Hey, Core 2 S15. I want to take a few minutes to uh, talk to you a little bit about your blogs. Um, as you know from the, the blog, blogging assignments, um, most of the setup was due on by February 10th. And I've been meaning to do this for a little while uh, so that you can get an idea of what someone coming to your blog from the outside, maybe they saw it on your on your Twitter page or on your business card, uh, what they will think about your blog when they when they see it. Um, I also want to talk a little bit about your posts and just give you some suggestions uh, so that you can go and take a look and do some edits and updates and and so on. Uh, uh, through the process I will uh, be touching on each of yours. You can see all of yours are up here. Uh, please don't take these criticisms personally. They're just as a way to provide you with some uh, critique and uh, please make sure that you are watching each of them because I will touch on some things that I might have missed on your blog or that I will, um, for those of you who are coming later in the discussion, uh, I will have already touched on them in another person's blog, so uh, I won't retouch on them. Uh, please do make sure that you see the due dates that were here, meaningful title and subtitle, appropriate theme, detailed relevant about page, sidebar widgets, and so on. Uh, if you have questions about how to do any of these things, please do let me know and I will certainly uh, let you know how to do them. Okay, uh, so let's see. Um, I will show you how to do a couple things in the dashboard area uh, while, um, while in the process, but I, I hope I shouldn't, but I won't be doing that too, too often. Okay, so I'm just sort of going in order that they're listed on the, uh, on the research page, so uh, just like, like that. So we'll start with Alexis. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to see is this very sort of um, bland theme. I'm not sure why Alexis has chosen this theme. I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. This theme is supposed to have, is sort of an image-based theme. There should be an image here. There also is usually, I would imagine, an image back over here. Um, but right now it is kind of, I don't know, for, uh, for a... A study on paranormal investigation. I would, I would expect to have some sort of something more interesting in to, to look at in terms of the uh, the blog theme. Uh, let's check, click on the about page. Uh, as you can see, uh, there is no content here on the about page, um, and that was required just a little while ago. I think by the tenth. Uh, so please do make sure that you are composing a detailed and thorough about page that discusses who you are and what this investigation is because anybody who comes to your blog is going to be looking there first. Who is this person? Uh, to do the about page, you'll see in the dashboard area that there are static pages that you can create that are distinct from posts. Uh, so just click on all pages and you will already see an about page there. And when you hover over it, you can click on Edit. And there you go. Uh, you will have some default content. This is the, this content that I've sort of tossed up here already. You can put a picture of yourself. That's always very nice. Uh, and then please, you know, detail who you are, what you're doing. Um, you know, discuss yourself as a, as a writer, as a researcher, uh, basically a freelance writer. Uh, you can put, say that you're also a student, but I would sort of, uh, downplay that here that we want people to see you professionally and you know up then when you're done you click update and then that content will uh, specifically appear okay um, how do I get back to your home page over here it's a strange layout I have to go all the way up to the top right to, to do this it's very small if I click on a, a link the font here is very small it's very hard to read especially on, on a big screen I do like that you have your tags over here. That's really nice. Uh, so uh, that's good. Although I would, you know, and look at how this is written out here, paranormal investigation. It can't fit the full title. So Alexis, I would spend some time going through the different themes under appearance and themes and, and try to find something new, something that's going to be more interesting for somebody who is interested in, in um, paranormal investigation that's going to allow you to have the kind of titles that you're having. It's going to be a little bit more readable with bigger font. Um, so I would, I would definitely spend some time 
uh, doing that. Also, as we see, this is obviously just a proposal, but there is no multimedia. There are no images. There are no links to anything. Um, like Fate Magazine might have a link to it. Um, Ghost Adventures and Ghost Hunters, links to those. Uh, if there's like haunted areas in New Jersey, there's probably web pages dedicated to those things. You know, link to certain places. That's what people want to see uh, when they're here. The Sixth Sense, uh, make sure you are italicizing things that need to be there. You can link to the trailer of Sixth Sense, Sixth Sense uh, and, and so on. This is not bringing up my appearances page. Uh, okay, let's move over to, to Elaine's. Uh, this is a very a pretty uh, blog. Uh, I'm sure you've chosen it for a specific reason. Note this is sort of a lovebirds kind of theme. And uh, are you, is there a drag queen symbolism in this? I'm not really sure. I, I, you know, I don't know much about the community. But it, it, there is, it is a sort of a lovebirds type theme. So I'm not sure why you're, why you're using this, but obviously you'll have, you have your specific reasons. It does have a bigger font than the one that Alexis was using, which is fine, although it is sort of, everything is sort of condensed uh, in here. I like that you've started this, you know, they've got a nice subtitle, such a drag. I like you've got the search bar and some updates. We are missing the Twitter uh, plugin. Uh, the, the, the assignment does ask you to have uh, the Twitter um, sidebar widget, and my page seems to have frozen here. So let me close this down, and I will go back to that. Do, 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 do. Let me show you how to add the Twitter widget or how that actually works. So under appearances, you'll see widgets. And there will be one for Twitter, Twitter timeline. Is this the one I want? And then you would click over the default sidebar probably or add widget and you'll see the Twitter timeline. Now, it sort of appears up here. The, to create this one, you need a widget ID. And to create the widget ID, you need to go to your Twitter page and be logged in. And then under your own avatar, you go to Settings. And then under Settings, you'll go to Widgets. And you do Create New. And here you're going to want to have your own tweets. You could also put tweets for the course if you want to, but I would recommend just having your own tweets. And I, I like to include replies, and I don't really care to auto-expand photos, and the defaults are, are just fine. And then you can just click Create Widget. And once you have created the widget, you will see in the URL up above a very long number. This is your Twitter widget ID. And so you copy that, you go back to the dashboard area, and you will see widget ID, and then you click paste. And you can change any of these options and, and so on. Uh, and then you click save. Save. Oh, save very quickly. And now you would go back to your site and I hate the way that WordPress has now decided to have all this and so view site um, Bill's test blog and now you will see that I have added my this is an old one that's broken to fix that has, has added the, the Twitter feed okay so that's how you go ahead and do that you need to um, so please those of you who have not added that yet please please do that uh, when I look at your at the blog, I'm not seeing any tags, I don't believe, or categories associated with your posts. Um, I also am all seeing just text. And if we look at the samples that I've given you here, um, There is a significant amount of multimedia. We've got embedded tweets. We've got all sorts of different things, links, 
And these are very important in blogging. We need to have all this information uh, with us. So um, please do make sure you are adding multimedia and links when, when necessary. If I have really thoughts on the research project, that's, that's fine. I'm, that, I'm, I'm okay with all that. Let's click the about page, see if we have an about page. Uh, there is really, we really need much more <laughs> here, Elaine, in your bio. This is really just a tiny little thing. This is a picture we can barely even see. Uh, we can barely even see you. You don't look particularly happy in this picture. Uh, this picture is happier. <laughs> So maybe this is a picture you want to use. You want to choose one that's sort of a writerly picture. Uh, so I can't even see, I mean, you're hidden in the shadows over here. This is not a very drag queen kind of image. It's not like out there and, and celebratory and sort of over the top. And I don't know if you want to represent yourself that way or you want to represent yourself as a writer, um, but it's, this is not an image that I would you know, just because we can't see your face, uh, that's 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 the big problem uh, with that. Whoops, I closed yours accidentally. So those are some thoughts that I have about about yours. Here, True Confections. Uh, this is a, a blog that is supposed to be about pastry shops, and uh, there is nothing. Pastry shops are fun and bright and colorful, and they're a good time. And there's swirls and bubbles and lollipops, and this theme is sort of the antithesis of that. Uh, it is. It is like a murder mystery, <laughs> you know. True confessions, true, true confessions. This is this is the blog from True Confessions. And when I see this, I start to think: Is there a disconnect between the theme and the subject matter? So, uh, you know, Faith, I would I would spend some time and uh, you know go through and up, update this theme uh, as I as I recommend for recommended for Alexis. Let's see the about page. And the bio here is. It is very awkward, <laughs> I would say. Um, you look very dark and foreboding in this uh, photograph. Um, I'm not sure why you've chosen sort of this gothy kind of image with your eyes so dark. Uh, but again, you want to think about who is going to be coming to this blog and who, you know, what what image they're going to be getting from you about this. This is a writerly picture. I'm not really sure, but I, we really need to have a detailed bio. And I would take some time looking at some of the other sites to see uh, some of the other sites listed on the course website, which I think I accidentally closed, uh, to, to go ahead and see um, what they are writing. But the more friendly, the more outgoing, the more you're writing about the actual project, we need to have a, a description, a somewhat detailed description about the, the research that's going to be presented here. So please send, spend some time doing, doing that as well. Um, here we have some nice, this is your, was your original, your original uh, bookstore one. Um, you might take this one down, okay, and sort of, because it's not about bookstores any longer, so you might take this one down, uh, create a short blog post about your current theme, and, and go from there. Uh, Jess has a really nice layout. She's got her tweets. Of course, this is her regular page. And she's got this little area about called Woofing It. Now, oh, and she's created a vlog that I just uh, I'm seeing. Let's take a look. So before I get started on what's on there, I just want to make a quick note about where everything is. So right now, uh, Sal doesn't really come with you calls. She does now, and that's not what she listens in your kitchen. Ah, where everything is, you're talking about where the research or, and where the dog is doing. I thought where everything was on your blog page. Uh, Jess has got a great blog. I spent, I su suggest you spend, everyone spend some time looking at it. She's wonderful with her linking in the multimedia. And she really knows, she's been doing this a long time, so she should be a great resource uh, for everyone in the class, including myself. So please do take a look at what she's doing. Notice that vlogging was not a requirement for the course, but she's sort of taking it on her own to do that. Uh, do I see tags associated with your post, Jess? Let me see on the full page, maybe the tags show up. No, there's no tags and no categories. Um, although it is, it, it is in, 
must be categorized somehow as, as part of this project. So please do make sure you're starting to add tags and categories to it because people really expect to be uh, to start to see that. Okay, but otherwise, this is I really like this theme. The letters are clean. The font could be a little bit bitter, bigger and just maybe you can fix that a little bit, make it a little more readable. Uh, but otherwise, it's, it's uh, just fine. Kathy, uh, let's see. Kathy Doherty's blog is is great, uh, but this is uh, really a research project. It's not just a blog, so you might we really need a um, a subtitle to show that what the research is. So there is that association right there directly. Uh, let's take a look at your about page. Okay, this is a this is a more detailed about page than we're seeing it in the others. We have a nice uh, this is sort of a nice picture of the family. That's very that's lovely. Uh, we might want to have that be a little bit bigger in here. The problem with your theme is that it is such a small writing area. You know, there's not a lot of content. So when you see this looks like a lot of writing, but it's really not a lot of writing. And these days people like to have a larger writing area. So I might think of a new theme also, although it is it is fine. We have this picture of the baby. Um, I'm imagining that is your son. And you know the the important thing as we talked about in class for your project is separating the, the idea of the personal issues which you know a lot about to the question of why and I'm wondering if having the baby here makes it too emotive on the personal and that's something that you're going to have to decide about uh, yourself so it's just something that I see and I and I look at this and I and that's what I think about if I'm looking at this from the outside uh, one thing I see is that I have no idea what the subject of this blog is and same as your other ones. What is the subject? There's no discussion of addiction up top. You know, we need that in the subtitle or in the title itself. Okay. Uh, I'm glad you're starting to post. Uh, and as you're discussing gathering information, um, you know, can you do a little setup for what this rally is? Can you do a little setup for what is going on over here? And, you know, this is a very, Ter there's a terrible story about your husband's uh, friend witnessing somebody, sh his son sh shooting up and being on suicide watch. Again, I, uh, I'm wondering how closely tied, how important this is for your specific subject matter, which is the question of why. So if we can tie that in in some way, that would be great. Uh, if you're linking to certain places about this question of why, that would be awesome as well. We also need to have categories and tags. Uh, where's my dashboard? Uh, so in your posts pit area, you can add categories over here. I recommend unchecking the uncategorized. You can create a new one for like, uh, like updates, or you can create one. You just click add new category, and it will automatically be checkmarked or if it would be like, you know, research updates, however you want to call it, um, you would do that. And then you add tags in this area up over here and you click add. So you want to make sure you're having categories and tags. So that's an important part of blogging. You never ever want to have this uncategorized button checked. So please uncheck those. Um, and so that, because uncategorized shows that you're not using your blog uh, to its fullest uh, potential. Okay, Kristen. Uh, Kristen, I really like this theme. Uh, you, there was another student from, I think, Jen last semester was using this theme. I really like it. It encourages the use of photographs, which you're, we're going to be talking about. It's clear. This is a lot of tweets in here. You might go back and edit this uh, plugin to just only like have four or five, because 10 is a, is a lot. Um, I do like the way it gives this sort of rundown. The fonts are bright, the, it's readable, uh, I, you're using linking in a great way, setting up the, the quotation. Oh, look at this, my little download thing. I can download. You're setting up the quotations really, really well. Uh, so that's that, the way that the, the comments appear is, is quite wonderful. You're using 
tags quite nicely. So I really enjoy what you're doing, what you're doing here with, with your blog. Let's take a look at your wrap page. Again, one sentence, really not enough. Okay, we really need to have more. Represent yourself as a writer. Represent yourself as somebody who's doing this research and would love to be able to be in contact with people. Put a link to your Twitter page and, and so on. Um, a big question that you all need to come up with is whether or not you want the main title to be researching, you know, uh, funeral research blog, or do you, you want your name to be associated with it? And then that's that's sort of up to you. You can try it either way. To change that information, you would go under you uh, settings and general, and then you can change the site title and you can change the tagline right in here, and then you would just click save changes. Okay. Uh, let's see, after you're here. Uh, okay, so this is Lauren's uh, blog, and the first thing that I see is that I have no idea whose blog this is, right? There's no name associated with it whatsoever. Uh, I will have, so we really need, Lauren, we need your name in there. Um, and again, in your about page, we don't have any name at first. You might link to Rowan University uh, if you want to do that. Your about page is obviously much more detailed, which is which is great. Uh, please do not have your email on here. You're going to be getting quite a bit of spam. You don't need the blog because people are on your blog, so that's not really necessary. If you're going to put an email address, put it would be written as like your this little bit Adele deal forty six. And then you would do the write in at students dot and write out dot rowan dot edu if you want to do that. Or you can create a little contact page. And I can show you all how to do that in class. It takes a little bit of time. Uh, so and link to your Twitter account. Okay, so make sure that is a uh, that is a link. The reason why we write out our email address is because there are things called spiders, which um, which scan the entire web for email addresses and then they put them in spam databases and then they you get tons and tons of spam okay uh, I'm looking at the home page now and then I'm looking at the blog itself this post here very nice uh, there's a lot of multimedia I like all that one question I have is this is all justified to the left and this content is all centered and I'm wondering why okay I wonder why that is actually happening so I would recommend that everything be all justified I do like that you have your Looks like these are categories. That's great. Uh, please do add some tags. Uh, you do not need a quotation mark around the hashtag, but I like that you're linking to that, uh, to the hashtag. It's great that you embedded a tweet. Uh, wonderful. Christian today posted, is this a, should be a tile size, I guess, post an interesting article calling to question the piety of the hashtag, the piety here. So, the word here, people link the word here all the time. It's terrible web practice because for especially screen readers, for people who are blind, this is not descriptive. They're just going to hear a link here. They won't tell you exactly what it is or where it's going to. So if you want to link to this interesting article, you would have Christianity Today posted an, inter an interesting article, and that would be the thing that is linked, calling into question the piety of the past, the of get rid of the uh of this hashtag and then you put the period right after hashtag okay um so uh please do update that uh, make sure that you are linking to things that need to be linked to or um italicizing what needs to be italicized so yeah uh, i like that you've got your twitter stream in here you've got your top post you got a little search all these other things that's that's wonderful, and, and the layout is very nice. The, the font is, is quite readable. Could be a little bigger, but it is uh, quite quite readable. Okay, Mike. Mike's layout is wonderful. Uh, there, it's very clean. It's like the kind of writing that he wants there to be. Uh, the hand, the font is perfect. It is so easily to easy to read. Um, I would love there to be some links in here, uh, so we can actually see that there are no tags and no comments. Uh, there's also no sidebar that I'm seeing, and so we need to have that information appear. Let me see the about page. 
uh, and that has not been created at all. So Mike, so please do, as I discussed in the others, please do make your, your about page. Uh, this is Mike you know, Nuss Pickles research blog. We need a tagline so that we know what it's about, okay? Because this penmanship in the writer with none is not going to be there all the time once you start adding your posts. And please, everybody, you should be adding posts so you're not, um, in the next several weeks, you're going to be doing quite a bit of writing assignments. Uh, you're going to be doing your interview preparations. You're going to be doing your lookings. You're going to be doing your field notes. You're going to be um, doing quite a bit of work uh, in the next several weeks. And then, you know, once the midterm comes, you know, it's all, it's all you, the, you know, it's all you. So uh, please make sure that you are doing your blog posts because you have seven for the semester. Please make sure that they are informed by the kinds of blog posts or they, they look like the kinds of blog posts that are in the other research blogs. They're not just a couple sentences long in a video. They really need to be thoughtful, engaged, multimedia pieces like we're seeing here. Okay, um, They can have humor and stuff like that, so please do get on to that. Uh, and then we have uh, Patricia's, right? Uh, this just says research blog. <laughs> I have no idea whose it is. Is it about a farm? It's a beautiful farm. I love it. I wish I lived there, uh, but I have no idea uh, what this is all about. Okay, um, We need to, the image and the name, your name, the subject matter needs to be up in here. Let me click the about page, see what's happening there. Uh, so Trisha, this is fine. We need to have a bit about the research. What is this blog about? It's not just about you, it's about the project. So we need to have that as well. We might have some links. You might put a link to your Twitter. Uh, it looks like you've used an outdated version or an older Twitter sidebar uh, plugin. So please do spend, go back into the widgets and, and edit that. Uh, the calendar is only effective if you have a lot of posts. And right now you have two. And this tells the reader this person does not blog. So I would remove the calendar, add the other ones that I suggested, and um, I think that would be more effective. I do like this theme. The, the writing is quite large. The, uh, it's easy to read. Yellow is always great. I love yellow. Good for kitchens and houses and stuff like that. Uh, once, one thing here is that you are uh, using links like you're using a works cited list. And these are totally disconnected. Uh, what we need to do is have these, this Down syndrome father essay. We need to have these links incorporated directly into the content. We need images. If there's video, show me the target ad. Uh, you know, bring that specifically in there. Are there pictures of Heather? Are there pictures of Izzy? Are there pictures of Jack Barr? So on and so forth. Link to his Twitter page, right? Because you're saying my Twitter profile should be linked to over here. Uh, link to his Twitter profile. Uh, link to the book, Failing Fatherhood, Italicize. The more you're linking appropriately, uh, the more effective your blogs are. Incorporate multimedia. And you, you, know, you should go back and edit this post so that you're able to do all these different, uh, so you're incorporating all these different things. And those of you who have, have done posts in, in the past and you should, feel like you should add more, you can go back and update those as well. Uh, we really haven't publicized our research projects yet, but we want to make sure that when people are seeing these things for the first time, they're like, yes, this person is blogging effectively, this person is presenting things well, this person is engaged in the subject matter, isn't just putting stuff up there, um, is using the blog in an effective way. So um, please do that. If you have questions about anything, please let me know. I'm glad you're all getting started. It takes a while to get, you know, this all down to get to, you know, to figure out what it is that we're doing. Uh, that's why we get these things set up early, and I give you these kinds of comments. So in the next several weeks, when you go start really going out there and doing your work, uh, people will see it and they will really, uh, really enjoy what it is that you're what you're putting together. Um, have a great weekend, and I will see you in the student center next week. Okay, bye.